Ozzy Osbourne, also known as the Prince of Darkness, is one of the pioneers in metal music. With his unique voice, wild stage antics, and unforgettable personality, Ozzy Osbourne has successfully brought the metal genre to widespread recognition to this day. Born on December 3, 1948, he was raised in a working-class family. Ozzy's father, John Michael Osborne, worked as a toolmaker at General Electric Company, while his mother, Lillian Osborne, was a factory worker. Ozzy dropped out of school at the age of 15 and took on several low-paying jobs. Due to his family's low income, Ozzy once robbed a store and stole a television, baby clothes, and t-shirts. His father refused to pay the fine to teach him a lesson, so Ozzy Osborne spent around six weeks in Winston Green Prison. The name Ozzy is a nickname given to him when he was in elementary school. His real name is John Michael Osborne. He kept this name for his stage name. Since childhood, Ozzy Osborne has faced difficulties in learning and reading due to dyslexia. Dyslexia is a learning disorder that affects a person's ability to read, spell, and understand words well. For Ozzy, this challenge made him feel frustrated and uncomfortable at school, and he often felt low self-esteem because of the difficulties he faced. He dropped out of school at the age of 15. For Ozzy Osbourne, music is not just a hobby or a career, but also an escape from the difficulties he faces every day. He finds peace and satisfaction in creating and expressing himself through music, which helps him overcome his frustration and disappointment in learning. Music gives him confidence even when he faces difficulties in the academic world. After being released from prison, Ozzy began his music career by singing in several local rock groups. Eventually, he formed a band named Earth with Tony Iommi, Geezer Butler, and Bill Ward. This band initially focused on hard blues rock before evolving into the heavy metal sound. To avoid confusion with other bands with the same name, the group changed its name to Black Sabbath, taken from a Butler song inspired by Boris Karloff's film. And Black Sabbath developed a rough and dark toned sound, based on blues music but intensified and drawing attention with its tendency to reference the occult in its lyrics. They released their self-titled album in 1970, and then released classic platinum records like Paranoid and Master of Reality, solidifying their position as a respected band. After the 1978 album Never Say Die, Osborne was fired from Black Sabbath due to his alcohol and drug dependencies leading him to form his own solo project. With his new manager and wife, Sharon, Ozzy formed his own band, Blizzard of Oz, with guitarist Randy Rhodes, bassist Bob Daisley, and drummer Lee Kerslake. The group's first self-titled album was released in September 1980 in the UK and early 1981 in the US. Blizzard of Oz shared some similarities with Black Sabbath, focusing on occult-themed lyrics with heavy, hard-hitting guitars but the band was more technically proficient and capable of variation. Featuring hit singles like Crazy Train and Mr. Crowley, Blizzard of Oz reached number 7 on the UK charts and number 21 in the US. Its peak came in 2017 when the album ranked 9th on Rolling Stone's list of the 100 greatest metal albums of all time. Ozzy didn't have trouble reaching the public, and his career seemed to have reached its peak. However, controversy erupted when he was accused of cruelty to animals. During one show, a bat was thrown onto the stage by a fan, and Osborne bit its head, thinking it was fake. The show was cancelled as he had to be rushed to the hospital for rabies vaccinations. On March 19, 1982, the world lost a legend when the small plane carrying Rhodes tragically crashed while performing low maneuvers above a tour bus in Florida. Along with two other passengers, Rhodes died in an incident that shook the rock music community. For Ozzy Osbourne, it was not just the loss of a friend, but also an irreplaceable musical partner. Losing Rhodes was an unforgettable blow for Ozzy. They not only shared the stage, but also had a strong friendship beyond music. They both inspired and supported each other in their musical quest for perfection. Rhodes was the guitarist who helped shape Ozzy Osbourne's iconic sound in classic albums like Blizzard of Oz and Diary of a Madman. In 1986, Osborne was accused of promoting suicide among listeners through the use of subliminal messages in his song Suicide Solution from his album Blizzard of Oz, a song he claimed was written in connection with the effects of alcohol abuse. Although the case was eventually dismissed, Osborne once again gained a feared reputation. 
As he grew older and desired to spend more time with his family, Osborne found himself lacking enthusiasm for music. However, in reality, Ozzy resurfaced in 1995 with the album Osmosis, which sold 3 million copies within a year of its release. He also created Ozfest, a touring package featuring himself, along with many other metal bands like Pantera, Marilyn Manson, and a Black Sabbath reunion attended only by Bill Ward. Ozfest was the most successful tour of the year. Shortly after, Ozzy Osbourne reunited the entire original Black Sabbath lineup to record the live album Reunion, which was released in 1998. His personal life has also been a media spotlight. The reality TV series The Osbournes, which aired in the early 2000s, provided a deeper insight into the Osbourne family's life, including their conflicted relationships and Ozzy's addiction issues. Despite being notorious for his controversial behavior offstage, no one can doubt Osborne's dedication to metal music. Despite facing personal challenges and health issues, Osborne continues to perform and record new music, proving that he is one of the true icons in this genre. With all the controversies and difficulties he faces, Ozzy Osborne remains a cornerstone of courage in the world of metal music. His dedication to music and his undeniable influence make him a beloved icon by millions of fans worldwide.